Hey guys, welcome. Happy Sunday to you. Now, today, Easter Sunday, many people know this as the bunny day. You know, somebody was asking me, how did the bunny make it into Easter? And I was like, well, because it's the time we're in. It's spring. I have bunnies everywhere. Now today, you know, we're going to honor resurrection. I want to honor resurrection and I want to honor plant life. I feel called to honor plant life today with Mother Earth and resurrection and the power of herbs. When I was healing from my path and religion, I had some beautiful, incredible stories of Jesus come into my life, into my feet. I watched them and expanded. And the fact that, you know, here's this incredible, what many have called, you know, Jesus being an ascended master coming here to help show us the way, lead us to the truth. They attacked him and tried to take him out. But he had people, of course, soul tribe members helping him. And bringing him you know making it look like he was dead one of the stories is they made it look like he was dead and they brought him back to life and they used these plant medicines we know we heard about sage frankincense myrrh guys frankincense and myrrh serious get some knowledge on that stuff if you're called get some knowledge on frankincense and myrrh it's not a coincidence the three right three the things the three wise men brought and there's healing. Like, in, I, I always put on aromatherapy every day, okay? And in my aromatherapy, I always have frankincense going. And if you use frankincense and myrrh together, it's so much more powerful. Once again, too, understanding we're multidimensional. You're stringing things together. We're, it, it, we're just more than one thing. We're, we're starting to create with the all. We're starting to heal from separateness. And today we're going to honor the resurrection and we're also going to honor the farther gate, the bold step forward. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We've reached the first gate, but we're going to keep going to the farther gate, the second. And we received this message not, not that long ago. And our channel message for today is we're healing from the templates of old earth. This is the wedding card from the moon oracle. And this is, we're dismantling love that's not in alignment or that there's not love like this is this is a card much of arranged marriages or social conditioning we're in these marriages for what it looks like not what it is it's not in alignment with our truth it's not in alignment with our heart and we're dismantling this right now this is what they're showing me and it's connected to something so we're going to start and see what it is. We're going to go with the dreams of Gaia Tarot. And we will be expanding off this message next time. And I'm going to get up that Ten of Pentacles special I did on my birthday. I'm feeling like it's just time to get that happening, guys. Now, I received the most glorious vision. I saw, I was doing healing, intense, intense healing, because we know we're really breaking apart this dense, dense, toxic, hopelessness, you know, pain, fear of the unknown, doubt. It's connected to the Five of Cups, okay? And that's where we're going to be expanding off this reading. But we're healing and clearing this. And I saw my past. Connect to my future through a line, a line of light. And when my past connected to my future, they clicked together and the light went online. Then I saw my past lives connect with my future lives and click together through the present moment where, I'm, where I was at clicked together and the light went online and I was thinking to myself while I was having this vision we always talk about it being a spiral why is it a line why is it straight and then the lion turned into a sword and the sword broke and I knew right then after that what it meant it was from the death card 
it was from the death card from the cosmic tarot it's transformation time and it's because we're healing from death the patterns of the fear of death of the control that that's had on this had on us as people well we've got the four of earth we're going to continue to brick build new earth brick by brick we're going to keep going we're wounded here the honeybee is on that brick we're going to keep going And it's connected to the Four of Wands. This is right on point with our last message. And we're healing with our destiny. Thanks to the Queen of Water. She's going to allow us to have our rebirth. The Queen of Water is here allowing us to have our rebirth. And it's connected to making a choice. We're going to make a choice. Look at that. I love this. Talking about the three paths of past present and future look past present and future we're making a choice here it's connected to the farther gates and it's to heal from the five of wands charge being out of alignment we're out of alignment here we're in conflict this is pack mentality this is dominance and this can be happening within our environment and happening within us but we're going to recenter through self from our connection to heaven and earth. And we heal from the Five of Swords charge. We heal. We're going to heal from the Three of Swords with our knowledge. This is all about gaining knowledge of heaven and earth. And expanding this. I want you to see we're really working on our path here. This is connected to all the knowledge we're going to use to expand. And it's connected to light language symbolism. We know our wisdom. Look at that dragon. We've become friends. We've healed. We've done healing. We've healed. And this is where that part of us, that wild part of us becomes our friend because we heal with it. We're all on board here through pain. We're all on board here to gain knowledge and expand. And it's connected to the farther. Yeah. <laughs> This is connected to the farther gate, okay guys? We're going to take a bold step forward with this knowledge. With this knowledge right here. This is connected to impetuous movement. We're not even going to think about it. We're just going to do it. It's connected to expanding with our gifts. This is being laser focused. Look, we're still falling short of something here. But we're going to continue laser focusing our energy on what we're doing here on hitting our target on expanding this is once again too connected to that eye of the needle so we can thread that needle we're going to laser focus on just the space the needle hole and everything else falling away we need, we're going to expand here with our chakras we're healing and it's connected to heaven and earth this is the message. This is what we're understanding here. This is what we're understanding here. That's the mess. And of course, the father. The father is here and the child. We're healing with the father. We're healing with the mother. We're healing with the child. In order to expand. And this is the ten of cups. This is the ten of cups. So we have the 11 of earth here. Heaven and earth, above, below, nature, humanity, magic, mundane, material, immaterial. Key phrases, separation is an illusion. Center and align. 
Spiritual being in a physical body. Spirit dwells in nature. Experience life and learn from experience. Guys, that's it. We're experiencing life to learn from our experience. And that's how we shift out of karmic loops. We have to apply new patterning. Symbiotic relationships harm the planet and you harm humanity. The ordinary is magical and the magical is ordinary. The 11 of Earth is a balancing and realignment card. It suggests now is the time to keep yourself centered and in harmony with the world around you by banis banishing the illusion of separation. And that's what we came here to do today, guys. We're banishing the illusion of separation. You are a spiritual being, a soul living in a physical body. In order to experience and learn from life, you are here to learn from those experiences. And in order to grow and evolve, we have to have those experiences. It is important to integrate and ground your belief in a higher power or the intangible here on the physical plane. Know that spirit, the divine, dwells in all things of earth, sky, and water. Honor spirit here on earth. To be spiritual does not necessarily require that you pray or follow a regular religious path. Spirituality is about connection. It's about taking a moment to watch a sunrise or a sunset and to know your center, that you are a part of something larger than your own life. It is about believing in more than what your senses experience. It's about believing in the mysterious, the inexplicable, the unknowable. It is about nurturing and honoring your personal relationship with the land beneath your feet and the heavens above. Humanity and nature have a symbiotic relationship. We are dependent upon the world in which we live for our very survival. When we harm the planet, we do harm to humanity. It is important to establish a balanced and harmonious relationship with nature by living a life that has a less impact, one that places fewer demands on the environment. Instead of claiming space as your own, remember that you share it and do what you can to coexist with the flora and fauna that were there before you. Integrate nature into your home environment. And I love it, we're coming back to the beginning. Why we're honoring plant life today. The flora and fauna. The healing, like we're reconnecting back to nature and life. We're, we're in alignment. We're creating the align. We're creating the very alignment we're, we're trying to get into. And guys, this is so connected to this reading that I am working on. This next reading that will be aired on the channel. I'm lit right now. I'm lit. So, we need to integrate nature into our home environments. I'm feeling like that's, that's very happening right now. We need to understand how to live in accordance with the seasons and cycles and how each animal and plant serves an important role in maintaining the stability of the ecosystems in which they dwell. To destroy one can lead to the destruction of the whole. And this always baffles me, like I, I live in the city, right? And people wanna kill the birds here all the time because they make too much noise because they're sleeping in. Like, what the heck, man? That's you can tell someone who's connected and someone who's not. You know, I love the sounds of the birds chirping. That is the connection to the song of the creator this harmonic and like when we're so selfish because we're so separate and then we're gonna kill the birds because they're making too much noise and this is understanding that we have to stop destroying life we have to stop separating ourselves from this this is what the problem is and looking at it for what it is and that's where you know, the devil energies wants to keep us stuck in this illusion. No, keep being a consumer. Keep going to the store so that you can, you know, feed that impulse so you feel like you're whole, but you're not whole. You're just feeding your impulse. You're feeding your empty hole, and it's an empty hole. When we sustain, it's, it's, it's lasting. And this has to do with starting by cleaning our home environment first. Like we're going to expand from within to without. We're going to do some cleaning within. We're going to do some cleaning with, within our homes. And now's a great time to get out and do some yard work and expand with yard work. 
You know, get out there. Reconnect back with the 11 of Earth. Reconnect back to the Earth. And this is understanding we have an environmental footprint here. Where are we going? I'm going to the I'm going to the, the moon oracle. Feeling called to go to the moon oracle next, so we're gonna go there, guys. Oh, look at that. Better get these cards the right. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh, justice and the page of swords. There's a reason why those are there. Let's find out what it is. This has to do with our choice. Why we're making the choice that we're making. We'll put wedding back into the deck. And see what happens. It's our responsibility to the earth. This is the earth. Our connection to the earth moons. Hmm. There it is right there. Healing from our impulses. What we just discussed. So we're going to heal from our impulses. The fire moons are here. The fire moon. So we're going to elevate and go through this door. And this door is connected to new earth. Elevating our vibration. We're working with Libra here. We're working with Libra in order to restore balance and expand. So of course we're going to have an idea connected to the element of air. We've got the element of earth. And we have the element of fire. And we're going to invest into the earth. But we're going to invest in the earth because the night is here. We're going to heal. This is the this is the nurture. We're going to nurture. It's time to nurture. We're going to nurture ourselves and we're going to nurture the earth. And that's how we're going to have this death and this rebirth. And that's what the Queen of Cups is here to tell us. The Queen of Cups is able to be vulnerable and love and open up and expand so we're going to nurture to heal and then we're going to get a promotion and when we get that promotion that's when we walk through this door here raising our vibration we get a visitor because we changed our tune this visitor is connected to love, guys. This is a visitor. It's it's love. This visitor is coming here to share a message of love. Venus is here. Because why? Because we removed the mask. It's time to play authentic tune. It's time to remove the mask. Where is that? We discussed that. There it is. All right. The sour. This is what's being activated. We're having a revelation. The divines come in and knock something out that was connected to the devil energies. So we could heal from ignorance. So we're going to heal from gluttony. We're going to make that connection we need to make. The connections we need to make. And it's this. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to stop fighting self. We're going to stop battling self. We're going to stop battling life. This is battling life. We're battling life here. We're fighting with our we're fighting with life, we're fighting with ourselves. We're gonna switch gears and we're gonna become enthusiastic. We're gonna use those 13 spheres of knowledge, the energy of the child, the feminine, and the masculine. The divine is here, and we're gonna do some growth. Remember, this is about going from the seven of pentacles to the eight. So we're doing that here. We're expanding. So we add the positive charge. 
And there's our connection to the Two of Cups. So, let's confirm it. We're expressing... We're expressing how to nurture. We're expressing compassion. We're expressing how to love. We're expressing. We're in a time of expressing. That's how we're going to heal from all this dense, lower vibrational five of cups. Bullshit. And that's what the, our next reading is pretty much about. It's about the five of cups, guys, and healing from the five of cups. So we're doing some more work with that again. All right, we have the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Let's confirm it. All right. The High Priestess is here with a message. It's our connection to the Queen of Cups. We need her. This is where a third eye activation is going to expand. And it's connected to surrendering. And I want you to see. Look at that. What's that shape, guys? What do we need? What are we creating? It's coming together. And it's connected to our Ten of Cups, our purpose, and forward motion. We're going some go somewhere, guys. We're moving forward. We're moving forward. Towards love. We're going to have a new beginning here. This is the Ten of Swords. We're going to face our fears. We're going to have a new beginning. We're going to face what's stagnant, what's toxic. We're going to face our reality in order to have a new beginning. We're going to expand with our body and our mind because we're going to listen to our body. We're going to understand our body is connected to the mother. And we're going to treat our body with more compassion and kindness. We're going to nurture our body to nurture our mind. We have a third eye activation here. In the nine of earth. And it's connected to the queen of earth. And the queen of earth is actually when we connect. We give ourselves permission to connect. This is the energy of Venus. This is cooking, cleaning, creating a beautiful, harmonious home life that's connected to the earth. This is bringing the earth in your home. This is allowing connection and to expand with nurturing. This is all about nurturing ourselves right now, guys. We need to nurture ourselves to expand this love. That's our goal right now. Nurturing ourselves to expand this love. And the Queen of Air is here. And the Queen of Air is here to help us on our journey because this is a woman who studies patterns. She looks at the light, she looks, looks at the dark, and then she looks at the reality. She looks at the truth. She studies patterns. She's able to see that someone's past got them to their present moment through patterning. We're about to shift patterns, guys. We're about to shift patterns from the heaven to the earth. We're expanding. Lit, guys, lit. Love, light, and healing energy. Sent your way to create with today. I look forward to you. When I see you for our next reading, when we expand off this, take care, everyone, and happy Easter Sunday.